This is a story that happened many, many years ago when the world was still a different place. My name is Bovi, and the title of our story is The Old Warrior. Once upon a time, a man and woman, old now, they had been married for many years. They were known throughout the village as a very likable couple. But you know, it was also well known that neither of them was very wise. Some people said they were not wise. Some even said they were foolish. But if there was one thing almost everybody knew, it was that the old man still had strength. He had strength to farm. Early one morning, just before he set off for work, he said to his wife, See here, this purse contains 10 cowrie shells. Now, those days, this was what was used as money for years. Keep it safe until I get home. You hear me? Confident his wife understood he went off to work. She said, Okay, <laughs> my darling, keep it safe, keep it safe. She mumbled to herself. I will hide this purse here, inside this pot. And nobody will know it's there. I need to keep it safe for my husband. She said these exact words to herself. Into the village that day came an old warrior by the name of Babatunde. He was otherwise known as Baba War. Now, Baba War had seen many wars in his time, and he was old and tired. He had old injuries and wounds during war, and they came back to haunt him in his old age. He was weak, and he could do no work. But Babatunde was very crafty. So from village to village, to city, he would walk begging for food or money. My son, please give me money. I have not eaten for the past six months. My daughter, please give me food. I have not had anything in this stomach as long as I can remember. That is how he kept moving and moving until he arrived at this old couple's house. He looked at the door, left, right, up, down, and he knocked. Co, co, co. Co, co, co. Co, 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 co. Who is there? Inquired the old woman from inside the house. I said, who is there? And he answered, Baba Tunde, a.k.a. Baba War. Where are you from? The old warrior thought for a moment. Hmm, this woman doesn't know me. I will play some tricks with her. And he replied, Heaven. I am from heaven, he said with a smile on his face. Now, I mentioned earlier that the old couple were not very wise. Some said wise. Some said they were foolish. And here is a good example of why this was said about them. Heaven! Heaven! The old woman exclaimed. Perhaps you, you, you know my brother, Wale. Wale, have you seen him there? Yes, I know him, replied Baba Tunde with a chuckle to himself. And, and how is he? How is my dear Wale? The woman continued. He is fine. He makes wings for, for the angels to fly. Baba Tunde was sure the old woman could understand that he was joking. But she didn't. 
Did he send you to me? Did my wireless send you to me? She inquired. Yes, said Baba Tunde, now really holding back his laughter. He said he has no cowries to buy feathers to make wings for angels and that you should please send him at least five cowries. He shall have all I have. May God bless his soul. The old woman removed the post from inside the pot and opened the door and handed it to Baba Tunde. Tell him to use all he needs to buy the feathers and send the rest back to me. Baba Tunde looked at this woman, could not believe his eyes. He collected the paws and made his way as fast as his old legs could carry him out of the village, not quite believing his luck. Later that evening, the old man returned from work and the first thing he asked for from his wife was the purse. Where is the purse I gave you? And she explained with joy to him that she sent it to her brother who needed the cowries to buy feathers to make wings for the angels in heaven. What? What? He yelled at her. How could you do that? That is a very foolish thing to do. He was very angry. His wife replied, Husband, you, knowing that I am foolish, why did you leave the purse with me? And now you are yelling at me. This makes you more foolish than I. The old man thought for a while and decided there was no time to argue. He immediately left the house and mounted his old horse and started to chase after Babatunde as fast as the horse could carry him. You see, it wasn't long before Baba Tunde heard the clatter of horses' hooves behind him. He may have been old and fragile, but his war instincts had not left him. Knowing that he must be being followed, thinking quickly, he looked again, left, right, and then... He lay down on his back, on the ground, shaded his eyes with one hand and pointed at the sky with the other. It was this way that the old man found Baba Tunde, a.k.a. Baba Wo. Crack him, crack him, crack him. <laughs> the old man stopped. What are you doing? The old man asked suspiciously. I have just seen the most amazing thing, said Baba Tunde. And what was that? The old man responded wearily. It was a man, a man, I tell you, walking straight up into the sky as if he were walking up a stair. Do you still see him? inquired the old man, this time with interest. Yes, yes, he is still there, ascending, said Baba Tunde. Hmm. The old man peered up into the heavens. Yeah, I do not see him. Get off your horse and lie down as I am doing, said Baba Tunde. You are bound to see him then. Mm, will you hold my horse for me? The old man asked, almost unable to contain his excitement. 
Hold my horse, hold my horse. And Babatunde responded, of course, with pleasure. Babatunde said, with humility and kindness. The old man quickly lay down on the ground, face upwards, and shaded his eyes with one hand against the sun, just as Babatunde had told him to do. Hmm. I do not see him, said the old man. Use both hands to shade your eyes. You are bound to see him walking heavenwards then, encouraged Babatunde. Go ahead and try it. And that was the last the old man saw or heard of Babatunde, his horse, and his purse. As the man was shading his eyes with his two hands, Babatunde mounted the horse. And guess what happened? He galloped off. It took a while for the old man to realize what had happened. He got up, patted the dust from his clothes, and looked around. And in shame, he walked home. The old man told his wife all that had happened. She listened on with amusement. You called me a fool. Are you not a bigger fool than me? She said laughing. How so? Asked the old man angrily. Today, I gave your post to a stranger. So I was foolish once. But you, by first giving me the post for safekeeping, then by being tricked out of the purse and your horse by the old man, you have been foolish more than worse. <laughs> she laughed. And that is the end of our story. And the moral of the story is, by the time the fool has learned the game, the player is long gone. But I must add, kids, remember what the old warrior Babatunde did was very bad. And we must not emulate such behavior. <laughs>